Welcome back. It is 812. Here's what's new this morning. April marks Autism Awareness Month, and at this hour, people from across the country are gathering in Greenville to learn much more about this. They are, and they'll spend the next two days learning the latest research and developments when it comes to treating autism. Fox Carolina's Myra Ruiz joins us live from the Greenville Convention Center, where there's a big summit underway. There sure is, and we are camping out at the Converge Autism Summit. Literally, we're actually inside a tent at the Greenville Convention Center. This is known as a sensory integration tent, or the Sen Castle, rather, but it really helps uh, children with autism. There are all sorts of things here that would do that. Uh, there's assistive technology here to help them communicate and also learn better. There are clinicians, educators, and family members of children with autism that are taking attending this conference. And while April is known as Autism Awareness Month, some prefer to think of it as Autism Acceptance Month. And here's an example of that. This is a video showing a young girl who is very aware that her classmate struggles to fully participate in chorus, but you can see how she makes an effort to include him in this performance. Kimmy Lee Bryant recorded this video of her son Aiden, who has autism, and she says the video had more than 4 million views after she posted it on social media. Some of those kids ask me questions and sometimes they'll say, why, don't, why doesn't he talk? Or why? And I said, well, he can talk. You just have to talk to him. And they're learning as well. And one presenter at the conference is looking forward to sharing activities that she says helps build verbal skills through social interaction. One of the games I share is Modified Connect Four, which a lot of us have laying around. Um, and instead of having to get four in a row, we just take turns. I put in a red, you put in a yellow. I put in a red, you put in a yellow. And it's more about that back and forth and us doing something together to build that social engagement. The learning doesn't just stop after the session. That's just getting started. It's those connections that you're going to make at the conference um, that you can really build lifelong friendships and have that source of support that's ongoing. Another example of the back and forth interaction would be reading a book. And someday Aiden's Awesome Adventures will soon be available for that. It is written by Kimmy Lee Bryant and it chronicles her son's autism journey. Now, back inside the Sen Castle, uh, here's an example of what it does. There are all sorts of things here to help children with autism who may struggle with uh, new sounds or textures. So there are pillows with different textures and, and cards where they can, you know, create different colors or sounds. Uh, using again uh, assistive technology. So a uh, lot to learn and take in at this summit. Reporting live in Greenville, Maiva Ruiz, Box Carolina News.